All right, let's look at solving uh, absolute value equations. To solve absolute value equations, you have to know these properties here. Okay, we have the absolute value of x equals k when k is positive. It's a positive number over here. An equivalent equation is x equals k or x equal negative k. Absolute value of x equal k when k is zero. This is a zero here. We just take what's inside the absolute value and set it equal to zero and solve. And then if we have the absolute value of x equals k when k is less than zero or k is negative, then that's no solution. So let's uh, look at some problems. So here we have the absolute value of 3x minus 5 equals 7. So the, uh, the property we're going to use is we're going to use the absolute value of x equals k when k is positive. k is greater than 0. So an equivalent equation would be x equal k or x equals negative k. It's the first one here. So we come over here and solve it. So we take what's inside the absolute value, 3x minus 5, and set it equal to k, which in this case is 7, or what's inside the absolute value equals negative k. And in this case, k is 7, so that would be negative 7. Then we just solve each one separately. So I add 5 to both sides. So I get 3x equals 12. Divide both sides by 3. I get x equal 4. And there's one solution. Here, I add 5 to both sides. So I get 3x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 3. I get x equals negative 2 thirds. And there's the other solution. All right, let's look at this one. We have an absolute value of 2 times x minus 6 plus 7 is equal to 0. So since k is 0, I'm going to use the second property when k is 0. So this property just says I take what's inside the absolute value and set it equal to 0. So I have 2 times x minus 6 plus 7 equals 0. So now I solve this. I get 2x minus 12 plus 7 equals 0. Combine like terms. So I get 2x minus 5 equals 0. Add 5 to both sides. I get 2x equals 5 divide both sides by 2, I get x equals 5 halves. Alright, let's look at this one. I have negative 5 times the absolute value of 3x minus 7 plus 4 equals 14. Now you can see that this isn't in any of these forms. See, all of these have the absolute value on one side by itself. So I need to get the absolute value of 3x minus 7 by itself. So I'm going to subtract 4. So I get negative 5 times the absolute value of 3x minus 7 equals 10. And then I divide both sides by negative 5. So I get absolute value of 3x minus 7 is equal to negative 2. Now, you can see that k is negative, and the absolute value is always positive. So there's no way that this side could equal negative 2. And also, the rule shows us that if k is negative, it's no solution. So this one would be no solution. Let's take a look at this one. I have absolute value on both sides. So to solve this one, I'm going to take 2x minus 1 equals x plus 3, or 
2x minus 1 equals a negative x plus 3. Okay. And then I just solve each one. So I'm going to subtract x. I get x minus 1 equals 3. Add 1. I get x equal 4. So there's one solution. Here I'm going to distribute the minus 1. So I get 2x minus 1 equals negative x minus 3. Add x to both sides. I get 3x minus 1 equals negative 3. Add 1. I get 3x equals negative 2. Divide both sides by 3. I get x equal negative 2 thirds. And there's my answer. Now, keep in mind, to solve these, you have to memorize these rules. And that's it.